Switching gears now, when she awoke from surgery, a local woman discovered her surgeon had done the unexpected. His act of kindness now going viral and underscoring the need for diversity in all walks of life. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez introduces us to the patient and her surgeon, who she says made her feel seen. To look at her head on, you may never notice, but India Marshall had bone growths on her skull. Her doctor at Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose and Throat Associates saw those growths and decided she needed surgery. But India says he also saw her. For the first 24 hours, my head was all bandaged up. Um, so, and I was in and out, you know. Just before her surgery, India had washed and detangled her hair, hadn't given much more thought to it. But when India came to and looked in the mirror, she saw something that wasn't there before. And I said, oh, um, someone put braids in my hair. Not just someone, her surgeon. That was a complete plot twist to me. She'd found a gem in Dr. Jewel Graywood. That's, that's all patients want. They want you to be um, kind and compassionate and actually think of them um, individually. Graywood's well-trained as a girl dad. I have two daughters and we have curls night. He knew that India's beautiful curly hair would wind up tangled and too tough for her to do herself post-op. So he did it for her. He even put in staples instead of stitches so they wouldn't have to be cut out. So the fact that it was braided up and part it in a way where I could clearly get to all the incisions. It just made my life completely easier. India shared her experience on social media a few days ago. More than a half million people have liked it. A simple act from doctor to patient, a gesture where kindness and representation intertwine. For me, it was an indication of somebody seeing me. Um, and when I say that, I mean seeing me as a black woman um, and the things that impact my life on the daily. So hair being one of them. And just to have that experience is, um, it's priceless. In Charlotte, Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.